Welcome to WP Tonic, episode 31, Social Media Madness for March Continues. I probably said that wrong. Bill Conrad, Jonathan Dinwood with you. Hua. <laughs> you know, we'll stand in an introduction to this. That's <laughs> couple quick notes before the show starts. We have a new icon on iTunes, which is the big head. It's black and white. We call it the big head. Well, go find that artwork on your iTunes or on your iPhone, press on it. And we've really developed the link to the YouTube show. So if you press on the artwork, you'll come up with a link, press that link. You see the uncut version of the making of this podcast. Also, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to put this up. Hopefully it works. We'll find out because I have to put it up first to check it. But I'm going to put a link below the YouTube link that goes to iTunes to both subscribe, rate, and review. P.S. I've never seen too many people in the podcast world doing what we're doing with the ability to go directly from your iPhone artwork right into YouTube. So anyway, I think it's something we developed and figured out, and it's there. I'm sure other people start doing it, but it seems to work really well. Well, let's get to the show. Enjoy. Okay, Jonathan, we have a lot to cover today. Yeah, now, we're going to keep this. You, I want 21 to 23. We're, we're going yeah, 23 yeah, to 27 there's minutes. No ch- there's absolutely no chance of that, Bill, but oh, we'll just agree to it just to keep you happy. So Come in this on, episode dude. two of Social Media Madness Month, we, yeah. uh, Jonathan is going to go into detail on social media sharing plugins. And then I'm going to go a little bit into Facebook at the end yeah. because next week we're going to go deep into Facebook. That's one of our major what platforms. I'm gonna, what I plan to do, Bill, is just finish off with um, the plugins that deal with sharing your content. And then we'll have a break and then we'll have a quick discussion about Facebook. We're going to have a more detailed discussion about Facebook next week. It's going to be a heavily aimed at Facebook but we're going to have a quick discussion about Facebook in the middle of the show and then I'm going to go on about the plugins that are about sharing your social um, profiles with people so they can join you on Twitter and Facebook and then also talk about commenting and how commenting kind of fits in you know um, what kind of services and how it fits in with social media sharing bill. Very good. And then today, at the end of the show, we'll wrap up with our journey of what is happening with MailRite and your business, what's happening with my business, because both of them look like there's there's light in the tunnel somewhere. Hopefully, it's not a train. Oh, well, I've got some exciting news, yep. Bill. Yep, I know. It'll be good. Uh, more than one bits of news. I've got three bits of exciting yep. news, Bill. And, and I do too, which is good. So anyway, let's start, Jonathan. Lead off with the social media sharing plugins. Let's finish up. Yeah, um, as we were saying last week uh, in our manic show last week, <laughs> and um, I think it was the most manic show I've ever had with you, Bill. Well, we, um, had, we had problems. Tell, uh, we don't want to make excuses, no. but what happened to the internet on your side? I was having a bit of problems with it. But, the cable company um, blew it up, didn't they? Yeah, a little bit. Um, as we were saying last week, you know, the plugins we were talking about actually share the actual content. You know, you, you've you got some articles, posts, and you want to share, you want to allow people to be able to share that information through their social media networks. And we covered a few, so I'm just going to finish off. There's some others. There's one called Social Sharing by Danny, D-A-N-N-Y, and that's a free plugin that provides a kind of, you can have a bar at the top of your post or a, a, a social icon bar at the bottom of your post and you can fully set it up. Um, so when I click it, it will have um, a, a little introduction of your post about your post and have a shortened URL to the full article and that will be all formatted so people can click it. It will be posted on their particular social media area twitter or facebook and it's quite a nice um free plugin and it's had a, it's had about four thousand plus downloads and it's got a five star rating bill oh i love five star ratings and a lot of downloads how many downloads over four thousand it's not that, the biggest it's that, not bad though is that, it 
the ones I like to use have like 20, 30, 40,000. Yeah, downloads. I do. But for the functionality it's got, uh, it's got five stars. It's hot. Oh, it's got full, the 42 people that left the review all yeah. have left five stars. And that, that's decent as long. And then you can show, tell if they're real reviews. You can yeah, just by looking. Have a quick read. But I thought that was quite nice. There's another one that I've put on the WP Tonic website, but it's a paid. Um, it's on uh, Theme Forest Code Canyon's website. It's $14. Um, it's a really nice um, plugin. Um, I was recommended this by um, Kim on with the WordPress Chick website. She uses it herself. And it's called Easy Social Share Buttons for WordPress. That, that's just rolls off your tongue, doesn't it, Bill? Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah. Um, and like I say, it's on Code Canyon. It's a very popular, one of their most popular downloads and it's not super expensive it's only $14 and what it mostly does really is on the visual side and and a bit more functionality than social sharing by Danny so I would suggest that you look at both and make a decision do I really need to cough up $14 for this more it it's more attractive and it's got a bit more functionality bill it's a nice looking uh Nice looking page for their advertisement and marketing. You always go by the that, don't you, Bill? Yeah, and I feel crap. Uh, I, that's my weak point too: is graphics and design. I, I like the mechanics behind the scenes, but it looks very nice. Yeah, another one. Um, hey, that, go on, Bill. What go ahead, this? hey Jonathan. How's that compare to the plugin we're using right now? I'm using two. I mean, oh, I'm using a combination of three actually on the WP Tonic yeah. website. I and mean, we're using Zoom on Zoom on me. For the side, and then we're using another one, which I'm just about to talk about in the next couple of minutes. And then I've also put on this easy share buttons one on yeah. as well. So the bottom line is you can have more than one. You just place them in different places and learn. Yeah, they, 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 yeah, that that's that's the good idea. That's how you do it. They've got they they they've got different ways of displaying the ability of for sharing your content. Yeah. Bill. And Sumo Me, I put that on all my sites that we develop, but I don't use their advanced work and I don't use their email collection system. No, no, it's, but um, I've used it. So um, the other one I want to talk about, basically what it does is something slightly different. It provides, so if you want people to join your profile, like join your Twitter feed, um, you know, uh, or join you um, on Facebook as a fan or Pinterest or whatever. You know, so they're not sharing the content. You're asking them to join you on some social media property. Is that clear? what the difference there is, Bill? Do you think I've explained that coherently? You know, think fast, think slow. I was looking at one of my technical uh, meters on the show. Say that again. Um, so these ones I'm going to talk about, you're not sharing your actual post or your page, encouraging people to join you, yes. join you on a particular social media property like Right, I, I'll call it follow me type. Yes. And follow me on Twitter. I have one of those in my header band. From so, Genesis used to have that built in, by the way. Yeah, but they've got some plugins now. Yep. They used to have that built in. They don't have that built in. You, you used to activate it and used to be on your one of your bars, one of your menu bars. Yeah. Yeah, you're totally right there. I'm getting more into Genesis, Bill. Um, well, we're going to talk about that, Ian, because I love Genesis. I'm so happy to see you yeah. working um, on Genesis. So um, the one I want to talk about is it's another very long-winded title. I, I, I think they need help with their titles, Bill. Um, it's called Social Media Feather, a lightweight social media sharing and following button. So basically, this one's a bit of a hybrid. So it's doing both. You can share your content and also uh, it provides follow me buttons. So it's a bit of a hybrid. It's in both camps, this one. What's right? it called? Social Media Feather. Yeah, how do you spell feather? F E V. F E A T H E R. Oh, feather, feather. Feather. So feather a lightweight social media and sharing. Fun. It's in the notes, Bill. You no, know, I know. Uh, I love to do it this way. I like to type it in, and the people while they're listening could do the same yeah, thing. Exactly. We have the full notes on all. You this. speak English. I speak American. Yes, I know that. <laughs> so, so we can talk I, to both. We can talk to Europe and here. 
So um, this, uh, I haven't used this myself. It, it's got over 70,000 downloads and it's got 4.5 out of 5 stars. It's got 119 um, 5 star rating. And like I say, it's got over 70,000 downloads and it's got a nice video and it seems a pretty good plugin. I, you know, this, this one meets my requirements. It's got a number of downloads. It's got video for me and my, my people I work with, you know, the yeah. newbies. And it's, you know, it's going to work. Yeah. And they, they seem to have a nice range. They've got some black and white and they've got the icons they're using. It seems to have a lot of functionality, right? Yeah, some beautiful, uh, beautiful plugins this week. Now, the one I've used a lot, I'm going to talk about next, and it is on the WP Tonic site, and it's on the majority of the websites I've, I've either done for clients or myself, and it's called Social Media Widget. And, like, um, this has had over 200,000 downloads, and it's got a 4.1 out of 5 stars. So I'm a bit puzzled by why it's not even closer to five star because I've put this on a lot of websites and I've never had any trouble with it at all. Like I say, um, it's got a nice set, a range of icons. It's got kind of three to four libraries and you can, you can have, you can find your own and link them and it's got a lot of flexibility. Um, it, you can only put it into widget areas though. It doesn't provide any short codes. Mm. Um, So you've got to have a widget area to be able to utilize this. So some of the others we've talked about provide some short code functionality. I'm not sure that social media feather does that. I'm going to have to research that a bit more. Um, But this definitely doesn't provide any short code functionality. But as long as you've got a widget area, I've been very happy with this plugin. Uh, I've got a tough one. Um, We're both using Genesis now. For our, my listeners, my, my folks, Explain what a widget is. Tough one. That's a tough one to explain, isn't it? Well, um, it's just an area that's been set up. It's not that difficult to code up widgets, but it's a particular, it's in the function file. It's a particular coding morphology. I think it was, it was developed in 2.9 or 2.8 of WordPress when widgets came out. And it um, it can be over-abused. You know, you can get themes that are totally widgetized, as I, I call it. I'm not actually sure if there is a word widgetize, but I have seen themes that are, um, um, that I've seen custom themes where the developer's gone widgetized potty, as I call it. Genesis with Dynamic. Dynamic will do that. It'll set your whole front page with widgets if you want to. Yeah. I mean, yeah, too many exactly. widgets. Yeah. But widgets, exactly. you could, they're like little, to me, they're like little iframes that you can do anything in, basically. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah. yeah iframe. Good. And we'll talk about that later. That's good. Now, on to another one. See, I can always sidetrack you. Yeah, that's why you always laugh. I always <laughs> laugh when you give, I want it done in 22 minutes, and you're the main source of the reason why the shows go on, Bill. Right, um, right, right. So, social icon widget. I've used this a bit. I use this if there's some conflict with the previous one, which can they always can be. Um, it's downloaded 10,000 times. It's got a 4.1 star rating again. Um, it hasn't had a lot of comp people giving it a star rating yeah. and it looks as a free icon it doesn't it doesn't look bad bill but i haven't used it as much my, my normal one i utilize is social media widgets and i've only used social icon widgets a little bit how did you find this one um it was recommended to mm. me by somebody so look at both and see um if there's any real difference um that make you want to utilize this bill right 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 okay so all right it's got you know the, the screenshot it's got some pretty icons yeah now we're going into the more um another one um i'm gonna butcher the name though bill it's hilaros solutions social media buttons right make sure i can find that you say Hil- again helios h-e-l-i-o S. Helios. Helios. Yes. Solutions. Yep. Solutions. And this offers a lot of functionality. This offers, and like I say, it's had, it's had over 4,000 downloads and it's got a 4.6 rating. 
Hmm. And it does seem to offer a lot of, I haven't utilized this myself, but it, um, I had a good look over it and it seemed to offer a lot. Of fun- it offers some of the functionality of Zoom on me. Um, so you can have that kind of sa- sidebar and also it provides widgets. And uh, I think it also supplies short codes. I like their sidebar. Mm. It, um, um, this might replace Zoom on me if it works. What's it cost? Uh, I think it's a freebie. Wow. Um, yeah. And um, it seems to offer some, a lot of the, some similar functionality level to Zoom on me. Um, I, and I, I will probably try this out on a test site and see if it really works. But I was quite impressed yeah. with what they're offering. And um, I'm where you could criticize me, but I am covering a lot of things here. In, you are. Um, is right. that I didn't um, I didn't check if they're doing a pro version. Um, I would imagine that if they're not at the present moment, they're going to because they do seem to be offering a lot here. They've got a really nice website and at the bottom. They've got some uh, video and it says for our products. Yeah, they've got a lot of other products too. Yeah, so they're using this as a way of promoting. Yep. But I am going to try it because it looks quite yep. impressive, Bill. And, and most of them are free and they're European-based programmers and developers. Yeah. And all across Europe. Very good. So I'm going to leave. Um, we're going to go back now. Um, we're going to talk about Facebook a bit, a bit yep. now. And, so what would you – you start the conversation, yeah. Bill. What would you like to say about Facebook? So very good. We're at 17 minutes, and we're going to lead off here with Facebook before we go into our final L section, which is Comments. our journey. Comments. And what I've done this week in Facebook is – Facebook to me is it's more – than I think it is, first of all. It's transitioned into a business tool and for little older folks. For example, I've got girls who are 12 and 14. They're really not into Facebook. They've got all the little kid stuff, which we can't use in business too much yet. But I shouldn't say little kid stuff, but it is. Facebook is really becoming a powerful tool along with uh, LinkedIn and others. So what I want to look at today in Facebook is just the pages and the groups and how it applies to business for a few minutes. And then next week, you and I will go into deep detail, and I'm going to do a deep, deep dive into Facebook. And the first thing I want to do is I want to tell folks how to start researching their Facebook. First of all, we know that you have your personal site, which is your normal one that you log on with. So once you log on, you have your personal site. You're not really supposed to run your business through your personal site. You're supposed to set up a page or you can have groups. So you run your business through the groups. That doesn't mean you can't have feeds or little notes and stuff on your personal site, but your personal site should look like a personal site. It should not look like a business site. You shouldn't have headers with business stuff. It should just be personal. And that's a good way too, to have that inner relationship with people. So now let's talk about pages. First of all, on your personal site, go off to the right and there's a little uh, down arrow. Go to that down arrow and go to help. And then from help, you can type in whatever. You can type in pages or whatever you might want to type in. So I've typed in pages, and then I've gone to the Help Center and uh, Pages Basic. And I'll, I'll put that link up. I'll give you the link for your site, and I'll put it up on mine for a little Facebook uh, subcategory. But start there at the Pages Help site and go to Pages Basic. So a page, let's talk about a page. It explains it well what it is. Basically, and this is, I'm only going to talk a few minutes, your page is your business site. It looks a lot like your personal site, except you have followers and you have likes and you advertise. You post, people can post, you can set your security just like your own site pretty much. So this week, I'm going to do a deep dive into pages. I've set up pages in the past, but I'm going to set up some more pages and go in more detail, both for my wife's company, First Realty, and for New Media Gold. Now, that's all I'm going to go into pages. Just remember, pages is your business site, and that's where all your business quote unquote stuff and advertisements are supposed to be. Your personal site is supposed to be personal relationship. You can talk about your business, but not really market your business there. So personal pages, now groups. Groups are amazing. Yesterday, we released episode 99 of Timeline of Success. Let me just go to Timeline of Success. And it was Jason Hartman. Jason Hartman is a self-made multimillionaire who um, started off as a young man in Remax at 24 was a one of the top 100 REMAX agents making a lot of money. He went into investment properties and invest, big investment organizations. So that's what he primarily does. But he also started a, his own studio and has 20 uh, podcasts. And I don't know how he does it all. This guy works all the time. He's out of Arizona. But he's got a, a media company, uh, Hartman Media, I believe. Let me look at my notes. It's called Hartman Media Company. And he's actually got 20 podcasts and other things that they're working on. He's actually looking at new media like I'm looking at new media. I'm becoming the instructor system of new media. 
he's actually one of the users of new media, whether they're producing commercials. He's got, he's made new and noteworthy on iTunes, which is a hard thing to do. Yeah, Bill, Bill, get onto Facebook. No, will you? <laughs> but I'm just saying though, this, this fits into Facebook. What I want to say is the buildup is I asked him, we always ask, what is your tool that makes you more, most productive? And he's got Infusionsoft in his company, which he's been using for six years. He's got all these high-end tools. And he said, Facebook secret groups. All right. three level. And what he uses those for his company, he says he's got, I forgot how many he has. He has a lot. And he's got a hundred affiliates in his company, either employees or associates or people who work with him and for him on his big team. They use these Facebook private sites, secret sites, to do all of their development of their products behind the scenes and lay it out. And then he's going into detail of all the things that Facebook groups can do. So without going into a lot of detail today, I'm just going to talk about some of the things they can do. You can make a general group where all your friends can post like a big blog back and forth, a discussion board. You can make a semi-private group or you can make a secret group. A secret group would be actually a, a group like I've created for New Media Gold for those people who buy my New Media Gold membership. It's a place where we leave messages with each other. We talk about what the issues are. I answer those questions for them and find out feedback from the people who are actually in my new media group. So it's a wonderful tool. I'll go into more detail next week. I'm going to be studying my tell and I'll show you some examples. Next week too, Jonathan, we're going to test out using Google Hangout for this presentation so I can bring up the slides. So if it doesn't work, we can always do, we're using Skype right now in two remote locations. But that's sort of a, a front runner of what we're going to talk about next week, and we're going into more details. Now, the other thing too, Jonathan, where you can come on on this is show me how to link better Facebook into, into the social media tools of WordPress. That might be an, another show down the road. The yeah, we, we're going to uh, we're going to cover that next week. So basically, I'm going to cover some of the plugins and some of the resources, online resources that could help somebody to fully understand the difference between a personal profile and a business page, the overlap um, of those. We just and then we're gonna and then you're gonna talk extensively about your experiences of groups, which I I got to admit I haven't utilized to yeah. the extent I should have done. Um so next week we're gonna we're gonna provide a lot of resources yep, very and information good. about Facebook. So, um, but there is a little bit of overlap. It's quite interesting what you were saying about um, how Facebook groups have now um, connected to the last part that I want to discuss, and that's how um, tools and plugins that can help you make your comment section more interactive with social media. Running the normal commenting functionality of WordPress is, is it's a very time consuming to, if you get in a lot of comments because you're going to get a lot of spam and you're, it's going to take time and resources to administrate a, com a commenting section. And we don't normally have ours one activated on WP Tonic either. Um, but there are plugins and there are solutions that can help with this. I use a Kismet yeah. as a frontline uh, spam pr producer. It works well. Yeah. I'm going to, one of the, mo the more popular with helping with comments is Jetpack. And Jetpack has a, a commenting, uh, Jetpack comments has um, increased functionality to administrate and it just adds additional functionality to the existing commenting um, system embedded in WordPress, right? right? Right, That could be a show in itself on the backside of WordPress. Maybe that would be one of our final shows to wrap stuff up for the social media madness. Yeah, we might talk no, about it. We're yeah. at 25 minutes. we got to finish up. I want you to talk about all these wonderful things that happened. Well, can week. I just finish off the couple plugins that I was going to talk about comments, Bill? Okay, I'll one. be quiet and listen. And that's what we agreed on. Yep, that's right. Um, right. That's right. Um, and then the, the next one is a, a plugin called Social Comments. I haven't utilized this myself, but I was looking at it and I was quite impressed with it. It's got over 5,000 downloads and it's got a 4.3 um, ranking. And it does seem it, um, it adds Google Plus commenting system, Facebook. Facebook comments 
it seemed to quite fully seemed to offer a lot of functionality and it just seemed to make um, what it basically does is it works with the normal um, commenting system in WordPress, but it just adds icons and functionality so people that any comments left can be shared upon these other social media commenting areas, Bill. Yes. So I thought that was interesting. And then um, one, I, I work at the Reno Collective and one of the... Um, one of the partners of the Reno Collective, who's a excellent uh, WordPress engineer, uh, him and his business partner have started this plugin co- called Postmatic, which is a real hybrid. It's freely offered, and it, basically what it's trying to do is trying to integrate commenting with email. Because um, I think one of the reasons why they're looking at this is that it's well known that um, people, um, if they like your comments, they join your newsletter list. And one of the reasons why they join your newsletter list is they want a um, they want updates about your latest posts in your newsletter. And they're trying to automate this more so it's more automatic with the posting engine, um, the forum engine in WordPress. All right? Tell me so, a little bit more about Postmatic. Just go into more detail. because. I just did, didn't I? Yeah, you'd say it again. Go over. I'm looking at it right now, and because I, I, they've expanded this page a little bit. We've watched them develop it. Uh, yeah, th- they're some of the owners of the. Real well, Collective, um, what they're Dylan. Trying to, they're trying to build an automated system where um, when somebody um, when there's new comments on a particular post, or you post a new post upon your website, it automatically sends out people a email telling them about the post and also about the comments. Okay. Yeah. Simple. I got it. Well, I got it. Well, actually it isn't simple. It's a quite, no, no, it's a tough well, thing to do, but I understand what it does. Simplicity uh, what it does. Yeah. That's the base, but I might be um, butchering, but that's how I, I see it. Yeah. And just to finish off is that there was an interesting um, conversation. It's over two hours long on on a, a fellow podcast, called, you know, WordPress Weekly. And there was a, dis- a very detailed over two hour long discussion between the host of WordPress Weekly and John James Kobe, who's the lead developer of BuddyPress. And BuddyPress is the kind of WordPress... Um, if you want to kind of start your own um, internal social media network, um, your own version of Facebook or a Facebook group, uh, but you wanted to utilize um, WordPress, um, it's a plug-in system that adds that kind of functionality. And um, it, it's a really interesting, but a very detailed conversation about where BuddyPress Um, and BB Press are going and this intersection of WordPress and social media. Right, Bill? You know, a very good discussion, a lot of information today. And let's just go on to our final section. There's a lot to grasp. Very good. So, Jonathan, uh, do you want to go first or do you want me to go first today on what we're doing on our business? Yeah, you go first, Bill. This is our little journey. So you can hear our journey each week. So really, this is like the third part of the show. So this week... Um, I've got some cash flow is always a challenge when you have a business and I've broken off and into a different direction and it's taken some time. It took me a while to set up where I want to be in my business. So we've got some funding to lay out forward. We've done the beta testing and I've got my beta clients who are looking at, and basically my product is that we teach the podcasting, the new media, the net casting, we hook it all together. And then we build a simpler platform, a blogging platform with tested plugins that just works that allows you to go to the first level of, I would say, not a money-making WordPress site yet, but to start building your platform with your uh, both your YouTube, your Google Plus Hangout, as well as your podcast hooked into a WordPress platform with ability to collect email and then start doing that. The next step is once you're successful at those levels, you'll be able to go on and monetize your platform. At that point, you'll make a decision. Do I want to run my own WordPress site? Do I want to build a more robust three or four thousand, five thousand dollar site? Where do I want to go? At least you'll have the knowledge base to build a business platform in WordPress. So we've had a pretty good week of testing and laying out, and I'm getting ready to um, 
launch the formal full full platform at New Media Exposition in mid-April, along with the Broadcasters Association Exposition in Las Vegas. So you won't see a lot of me running around Reno for the next 30 days because I'm spending so much time just getting my platforms, my my classes, everything lined up. What we do have fully lined up and available now is the embedded training on the back panel of WordPress for WordPress when we install WordPress. So that's going well. What we're developing is the bottom line up front training for both podcasting, netcasting, and Google Plus Hangouts, tying them all together like we do here. We're going to, a lot of the things you see on this show is what you'll learn from that uh, membership site. By the way, the beta membership site, which will go up after a new media exposition between now and new media is $79 for the membership where you get the basic courses. But if you want us to install your WordPress site, put in your framework, it's $297, which includes the framework. And that's just, just to the beta level. So we're, we're not really marketing that a lot, but we're getting a few people signing up. So it's keeping me busy. So yeah. Jonathan, that's, that's what new media newmediagold.com is doing. I'll be on the New Media Gold webpage all day today just working on it. So go ahead. Yeah, um, that sounds great, Bill. I think you're moving forward. Well, with Mailwright, there's been a lot of developments. Um, Basically, um, Mailwright is going to split up into two websites, one aimed at the veterinarian market and the other at the general business. And we're going to offer a free product it's going to be aimed at the WordPress community. The, um, Very good. And um, it's going to offer email email marketing, social media integration, and also um, text messaging. And it's going to be a fully functioning free product that will offer some more functionality than Hootsuite. And that's going to be available in the next couple of months. I think that's a great idea. This is the first time you've even told me about this, Jonathan. Well, I'm not going to tell you everything, Bill. I know. Uh, and I, saw, uh, <laughs> I saw you working uh, on uh, Genesis the other day. That was exciting. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. So um, also, um, I uh, Mailwright has been accepted for the second stage of the WordPress um, startup fund. And it doesn't mean that um, WordPress, Mailwright will actually um, be funded by the Reno Startup Fund, but it's uh, uh, definitely a very strong fo- step forward. Um, I also like Jonathan. To- before we go on, explain to our our listener out there around the world, because we have a lot of people in Europe that listen to the show. What is the Reno Startup Fund? It's a fund that got resources from the federal government and other resources. That's um, was started by the Reno City. Um, Reno City um, government. government, local government, local government to encourage economic development, and it's a partnership between the city and Edon, which is a um, quasar state um, entity that that encourages new existing a new business to develop in northern Nevada, and on a quarterly basis, they ask for possible startup companies in the technology sector to make an application and they choose a certain number and they get um, funded around $20,000 on very good financial terms, Bill. The other thing I like too is there's four incubators. You get to pick an incubator and don't they commit like $2,000 to that incubator for your uh, working space that you don't have to pay for? I think at the present moment now, Bill, there's only three. Oh, really? We'll talk about that offline. That's news to me. Yeah, I think I'm correct. I wouldn't say, but I think last time I checked, there was only three okay. now. Yes, they do. They get between two to 3000 actually, Bill. Yep. So there's that. But there's also other good news, Bill. Um, I have also, I, um, I felt I had to. Um, I made other applications to other incubators, startup incubators in the USA. And I've been given a formal interview in Boulder, um incubator called Boomtown that's very famous um and obviously Boulder is well known as a technology center and I've I've just been offered a formal interview which um where I have to go in person to Boulder at the end of this month um and have the interview um so, so you that- just, you just tell them to watch uh, WP Tonic I won't well, go against me, actually, Bill. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. And the other, the other part is that I have made, uh, I have been in discussions with experienced WordPress 
and full stack web full stack developer called Trent Robbins. And um, if I do, if I am successful in getting the funding I'm looking for, he's going to become the chief technology officer for Mailrite, and he's going to help me develop Mailrite because we got other plans with where Mailrite's going to go right. over the next year. And Trent's a great guy. He's well known in the San Francisco um, WordPress community. And, and later on, just so folks know, later on this year, because Jonathan's been hitting me on it, why don't I focus in on the politicians? Well, I'm focusing on the WordPress community, not WordPress. I'm focusing in on the podcasting, new media, younger community right now. But later this year, we're launching a product which is designed for politicians and new media. And we hope to integrate MailRite. Yeah, so that's what I've been up to. Hopefully you can see I've been up to quite a bit, Bill. You have. that. You've had a heck of a week. I know we've both been busy this week. I, I can tell by just our communications back and forth. Been really busy. And uh, it sounds like you had a great week. Well, I think I'm making movement forward and, you know, the strategy of Mel Riot. And I think um, – I think other people in, um, can see that as well, but it's not easy as a startup business. So uh, for the, for our listener out there, for you listening, is there something, is MailRite ready for them now or can they use well, it? Well, I, I, you have to pay, but in the next, in the next, there, there's others, other things we need to get done in the next two to three weeks. But I think by the end of March, the free product will be available. Um, um, and I probably will have two websites. And on the mail right side, the free product will be there and it will be fully functioning. And then we can probably talk some more about that, Bill. Okay, will do. Well, it's Sunday. We sprung ahead last night. It's uh, We're an hour ahead now, so we'll have a little more light this afternoon. But we didn't get that full sleep, right? Well, I did. <laughs> I just slept an extra hour. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we'll get this up. We went over. We're at like going to be at 40 minutes. That's painful for me. I do the editing. But uh, next week, we're going to try some things, and we'll see how it comes out. We're going to try to do a Google Plus Hangout. If that doesn't work, we'll go back to the Skype system we're using right now. Jonathan, excellent show. A lot of content. I know we're both madly busy right now.